Welcome to 21st of April's Godly Blessing. Now, what does it mean to know your past or your past births? Many people are very much interested in understanding and knowing what they were in the past lives and whom they were with. Now, they go down the line of what they used to do, who were their relatives, who were their friends, who were the family members. But the more important part is what they did in their life than knowing who their family members were, who their friends were. It is more important to know what knowledge, what wisdom, what talents did they have with which they played a role in this world. And that is what God is trying to tell us today. God says, may you be a spinner of the discus of self-realization and by becoming master knowledgeful. Discus of self-realization, that's what you see in the Indian or the Hindu or the Adi Sanatan Devi Devta Dharma gods and goddesses. Some of them have got that discus, right, which has been shown to cut the throat or the neck, but that is not so. It is not a violent one. It is something to know about the self. And since at the end of Kali Yuga, we have become so impure and unrighteous. So by knowing how pure we were created by God a couple of thousands of years back when we came down on earth, to understand, to know the discus of self-realization, that who we were in the past time, in the cycle of time, we understand that, oh, I was a pure being, I was a divine being, and how come I am someone who's angry and greedy and jealous right now? So I need to cut the jealousy, I need to cut the anger, I need to cut the Satan within me, I need to cut the Ravan within me, and become divine again. That is what is self-realization, and the discus talks about it. To know more about it, how long is the discus, the time of revolution of our many births in that time? To know more about it, do come over and learn it from Brahma Kumaris. But then now, let's get back into this beautiful word that. So God says, may you be a spinner of the discus of self-realization and by becoming master knowledgeful. God is knowledgeful and we are his creation of children, master knowledgeful. Know your horoscope of 5,000 years. Know your horoscope of 5,000 years. Those who become spinners of the discus of self-realization at this time become rulers of the globe as simple as that that means god says that now kali yuga is going to turn into satyug so become somebody who remembers as per my guidance who you were in your previous verse and try to become that again who's going to become that again not physically but spiritually the spirit the soul has to change its mind and intellect and habits into someone who it was in the beginning that was pure and divine so God wants us to become that again and have a right to the fortune of the kingdom in the future. And that's the only foundation for getting into that world. Receiving purity and knowledge about our past births, when we came down, how we came down and how the drama has been created, all that. So God says to be a spinner of the discourse of self-realization means to know all the different parts you play in the whole cycle. Be a spinner of the discus of self-realization means to know all the different parts you play in the whole cycle. So this is a cycle, you know, the discus is like a cycle, the tire of a cycle, right? So it has got like a clock, different hours and it's got four parts, 12 to 3 and 3 to 6, 6 to 9, 9 to 12, right? There are four parts over there. Here also there are four different ages, golden age, silver age, copper age, iron age. And when did we come? Did we come in the Iron Age or did we come in the Golden Age? For you to find out, when did you come, you will have to visit Brahmakamaris. But then let's get back to this. So if you were somebody who was in the Golden Age, that means your intellect, your behavior, your thoughts, your, your nature, your character was also Golden Age. Right? In the Iron Age now, everybody is into impurity. Lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment are all impure habits, impure character. Human beings have fallen down in the eyes of God. So that's why God says, remember who you were, how did I create you, what you were. And then he says, to be a spinner of the discus of self realization means to know all the different parts you play in the whole cycle. That means who you were in the beginning and what you become in the end. Know that. And in the middle part, what did you do? At this time, you children especially come to know your horoscopes of 5000 years. Not horror, but horoscopes of 5000 years. In the present time, when it is the time of horoscope, because people are going through troubled times and they reach out to someone who can read a horoscope and they find out 
oh your lagan is this or you're going through this dasha and this is the problem with your health and relationships are going to be in turmoil for a few years and uh, that is what you generally get to hear or if somebody wants to earn a little bit of more money then he's oh your life is going to be wonderful and it's beautiful and everything is going to be wonderful in the future and you're going to get a job you're going to get promoted so god is saying that i am the one who can tell you about your different births not even a not even a person who reads the horoscope can tell you that so come to me and understand who you were and then he says and have become master knowledgeful so you have known the horoscopes of 5000 years and you have become master knowledgeful all of you have now understood this special aspect by making your lives like a diamond in this final birth you see diamond is pure flawless and we have become black coal so we have to turn from coal to a flawless diamond coal means darkness in the mind thoughts are very impure you become those who play hero parts for the whole cycle you become those who play hero parts for the whole cycle so our part is a hero part we can either choose a villain part or a hero part you remember the previous different vardans which we spoke about we have to be someone who chooses to become a hero because god sent us down to play an act of a hero and not of a villain but if you are using anger greed jealousy hatred and lust then you understand what kind of part we are playing so we have to turn apart from evil or villain to a hero part and you can do that when you know who you were in your previous life do come over visit brahma kumaris and understand this beautiful knowledge about your past om shanti